you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's time for another Ask Camp Kennan uh, question video, as you uh, call it here. And today's question comes from Edward Meeks. I'm getting in with the tortoises here. We're still a prehistoric pet. And Edward asks about redfoot tortoise hatchlings. What's the best humidity and requirements for these guys? Now, these obviously aren't hatchlings. They're adults. And we've got some yellowfoots in here as well. Uh, the yellowfoots are right here. You've got two of those. And we also have, of course, the good old redfoot tortoise. So I'm going to lift this one up. Oh, I love redfoot. These guys are little bricks, beautiful little tortoises, and they're in an indoor enclosure right here. And the thing that I have to mention is that this place is humid to begin with. Inside, prehistoric pets, and even though they're in Southern California, which is basically a Mediterranean type climate, which means it's usually dry, uh, inside this environment they have, it's like a microclimate. It's actually pretty humid. They have a lot of water that's being burned up because they keep it very warm in the building so that it keeps these tortoises very happy. So what you want to do with your hatchlings is you're going to want to make sure you keep your hatchling tortoises in a smaller enclosure because you want to be able to regulate the temperatures for a hatchling. So think of it as a nursery. Uh, if you have a hatchling tortoise, something that's about two foot by a foot and a half is usually a good starting environment for them. One side you're going to have a basking light with UVB light over the entire thing if you keep them indoors. Uh, so you want the basking temperature to be uh, between 90 and uh, 95 degrees directly under the basking light. In the cool side, you want it to be in the low to mid 80s and then at nighttime that cool side and the entire ambient temperature should go no lower than 70 degrees for a hatchling. Uh, you can accommodate them by providing them with a humid hiding area because that humid hiding area allows them the ability to decide where do I want to go, what do I want to be, do I want to feel dry or do I want to feel more humid. Uh, you can get some sphagnum moss, moisten that, put it in the hide and then you can have a gentle under tank heater warming them uh, for that nighttime drop. Remember you don't want them to get below 70 degrees as hatchlings. Uh, besides that you're just going to want to make sure that you you know keep them misted during the day. I like to mist my guys oh probably once in the morning once at night just to make sure they're hydrated always have fresh water available for them and the other thing to help keep them moist or humid rather is to mix in some sphagnum moss uh, into the potting soil or peat moss into a organic potting soil that doesn't have any of the styrofoam balls and that will allow the soil to kind of have this loamy um, light feeling with the the peat or sphagnum but it allows it to absorb moisture which I find uh, a lot better for the young tortoises. You can also throw a thin layer of the repti bark. What's up little one? You are, you're looking for some food. I don't have any food for you dude. Uh, but a little repti bark on top will also help out. Uh, that's how I like to do it. So all those things. Humid hide. The warmth. Don't forget their basking light, their UVB light. I like the linear lights. It displaces, a, it puts a wide spectrum of UVB over a wider area. Uh, we got the substrate, and don't forget to feed them two to three times a week. And calcium supplements are important for growing tortoises. Well, there, uh, there you have it. A quick little, uh, little advice on how to take care of some hatchling redfoot tortoises. These are, of course, adults. We're going to let them continue to graze and live happily here at Prehistoric Pets. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to patreon.com slash camp Kennan if you want to help us uh, support the videos and get your question read right here on the channel. Later.